All right, we're at the job site and we have all these cables that we need to terminate into the rack. This rack was existing from the uh, previous tenant who was in this room. This is changing into a shared workspace, so it'll be pretty cool. At the top, we have a UDM SE and then one patch panel. Um, I did have the 48 Pro Max switch sitting in there, but we don't need it in right yet. We'll end up terminating on the patch panels and then we'll side the switches in. We have the PDU Pro, which is great. Uh, we'll end up adding a UPS down at the bottom somewhere and a bunch of switches and the UMVR Pro. But for now, I need to separate these, Velcro them together, and then get terminating. The tool that I'm using to bundle all the cables nice and neat together is the Panduit Cable Organizer. For the tools, I'll put them in the description down below. Okay, so we got our cable bundled down into the rack and you can see that I'm using these little tiny zip ties. These zip ties aren't meant to be on tight. It's just to hold the cable in place in the patch panel. So what we need to do now, we need to measure off the length and then start terminating and fill these ones in. Now I didn't show you all of the cable terminations as that would take a very long time to do, but what I use now is the vertical cable one punch tool with their VMAX jacks. It's a one crimp tool where traditionally you would have to use a one 10 punch tool and this would take a lot more time because you'd have to punch down all eight conductors. Now here in the front of the reception area, we're gonna end up putting an AI360 to capture all of this area, hopefully some of the elevators as well. We'll also be putting cameras in these corners to capture the hallways.
Now let me take you around for a little walkthrough of how this co-working space is going to be laid out. So once we get off the elevators here, this is going to be a reception desk where they're going to have some screens. We will have a Unify Talk phone here as well as another screen so that they could watch cameras. We may be installing Unify Access for the intercoms for the gates. If we look right up in the middle, we can see that we have the AI360. This is probably going to be getting changed out for the AI Theta Pro. And then going further back, we have the U6 Enterprise. Now this is one of their main conference rooms, which has this frosted glass, which I'll be able to show you in the second part of this video, which is actually really cool. But in the desk, we're gonna be having another Cat 6 and we'll have an HDMI and they'll be mounting this big conference screen so they could do like WebEx type meetings and things of that nature. Moving down the hallways, these are all kind of frosted as well. And we'll take a look in one of the rooms to see how we put our data jacks on. Um, we could probably look at this one. Currently, we don't have any labeling done. It will all be labeled, but we just have our data jacks up top and there's two in each receptacle and we're using decor straps. Now the electricians did put in all these boxes for us. So if they look a little low, that's because that and their face plates are a little bit bigger than ours. At each end of these hallways, we're also gonna be putting in the AI Theta Pro in the center because they like the style of that fish lens eye. And all these are gonna be co-working space offices, which is really cool. So there's four data drops in each. We take a look at another office. You can see that we have two data drops there, and then we have two data drops on the other side, and the lights are all automated as well. We have another U6 Enterprise and you can see that we have a bullet camera in the corner. This is temporary because this is gonna be getting changed out for the AI Theta Pro as well. And we'll show you that in the second video. Now they are building a kitchen here, which will have a bunch of cameras in it, as well as uh, some food and drinks and beverages that they could do, but that is still under construction right now. We have another U6 Enterprise and we have the G4 Bullet, which will be coming out. And then we have this big open space that has a bunch of cubicles. These cubicles won't be hardwired at all. It's all gonna be running off of Wi-Fi. In total, we're gonna to be having eight U6 Enterprise and we'll be doing a heat map scan of this whole floor so that you guys can see it. So I'm gonna go in over here and this is a podcast room, which is pretty cool. We currently don't have any ethernet in this room. I'm not too sure if we'll be adding it, but they're gonna end up setting up some audio like the Shure SM7B so that people could do podcasts if they wish. Now, if you get mad at one of your coworkers, they have this little booth here and I believe you could just yell in it. I think it's like a quiet room or something like that. Um, so that if you need to go on the phone call and you don't want people to hear, that's where you'll want to go. And now we've made the whole loop around the building. There's going to be full integration with an app. So when people buy time, like an hour of time, they're going to get access to a room. So they're using Salto access control locks and we'll be using radius for the Wi-Fi. Once the hour is done, they won't be able to access the room and they'll be kicked off the Wi-Fi. One other interesting room is this room here, which is all gonna be redesigned. And this is right across from our network room and we'll go in there in a second, but they're gonna be making this into a relaxation room. Originally, we didn't have any cabling in here, but they're gonna be adding some Sonos speakers, a Sonos amp in the rack. So we need to run a uh, couple Cat 6 down here somewhere. And on this back wall, they're gonna be making it a salt wall which is gonna be really cool. Now that leads us to our network rack, which isn't completely done yet. You'd see there's cabling hanging down here. We'd see all our cable bundles coming down. Eventually I'm gonna make the Velcro so it matches all in a line, but for now that's fine. At the back, we have all this old access cable that will be getting cut out. At the top of the rack right now, we have a UDMSE, then we have our patch panel, then we have the USW Pro Max switch, which is all PoE, it's a 48. We have two more patch panels, another switch. We have a blank patch panel, switch, patch panel, and then our aggregation switch. It's going into this PDU Pro, and then if we look down, there's a little G4 Instant, which I've been using just so I can see if people are coming in and out, because we have some material. And then we have another patch panel and another switch. Going down to the bottom, I need to get this set up tonight. This is the UMVR Pro, and then we have a UPS down at the bottom. Now, a lot of people always ask me to see the back of the rack because the front looks so nice, and this is what one of the patch panels look like. Obviously, this cable is just for the camera temporarily. We could look up, there's another bundle going in, and then we have two more patch panels right there, and it's all neat and tidy. We have these zip ties on there, but like I said at the beginning, they aren't tight at all. We don't wanna make them tight, we don't wanna pinch them, 
they're just there so it's nice and cable managed. And that's going to be it for the part one of this video. Like I said, we will be doing a part two where we install all of the AI Theta Pros and some other gear. We still do need to put some access points on. We're going to do a heat map scan with the Ekahau Sidekick too. So if you like this type of contact, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.